good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we're going to be looking for a little church that uh, my brother visited recently. Um, he does haunted investigations, etc. Uh, night vigils. This is St. Catherine's Church, uh, which is, I think, between St. Norman and Faversham, it's out in the uh, middle of nowhere. Um, so, yeah, I thought we'd go and have a look. He had some uh, kind of good results at night there, but it does look like a lovely church. I thought it would be nice to look at during the daytime, as I normally do. Um, so, please join me as we take a look around, and uh, I'll have more to say once we get there. Thanks again. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel again. Just arrived at uh, the church. It's in the middle of uh, one well, end of a little country lane. Really, got a couple of oast houses and uh, a rectory and another looks like a farm building. Not too far away. Don't know if you can make that out. Lovely little oast houses. I can't find a main way in, but um, I think, generally, they go up through the woods here. So I'm going to take a little walk up, so you can make out the beautiful little snowdrops here coming through. Just shows that uh, spring is coming. Isn't that beautiful? There we go, you just see the church here just starting to get lost in the trees look at that beautiful spire up there I think this is a, a deconsecrated church now but uh, I think like the other one that I looked at the other day it's actually being looked after by a charity who's restoring the church because it's just a shame if you don't look beautiful look at that lovely brickwork it's an unusual design Or bee nests up there on a bell pool called. Yeah, and it's St. Catherine's in Kingsdown, and it's the Church's Conservation Trust again. Let's have a look inside. Wow. As I say, my uh, brother wandering. Sorry, journey man. 
did a investigation here recently with uh, his friend John. I think he's actually been here a couple of times now. And they caught some uh, orbs and conversation. I'll leave a link to his channel anyway so you can have a look at that. Look at that beautiful stained glass window down the bottom there. Sunlight just coming through. It's a beautiful church. So we can make out there on the bottom of the trusses there, the ceiling trusses, there are figures. The face looks quite haunting there at the bottom of the window. So a beautiful stained glass window again. Figures up there. It's a lady with a, um, I don't know what you call that, it's a small old fashioned guitar. Again, every window's got a face at the bottom of the outcrop there. Really well carved. Beautiful oak ceiling again. Really lovely condition. You really can't beat English oak. So it's a very cold haunting church. I can't imagine what it's been like at night. I know my brother's been in on his own at night before. There we go, that one's got a harp. I always find this room a little bit freaky actually when I see it in my brother's videos. It's quite dark and imposing. I can imagine what he uh, set in on his own at night. But I know when he was here weekend, uh, there was a lot of spirit communication, a lot of orbs. That's unusual seeing a pulpit that's stone, carved stone, generally there. The wood, beautiful, look at that. How well carved is that? Absolutely gorgeous. Not sure what's down underneath these grates. But again, the detail is absolutely amazing. Angel Ella at the bottom. There's some beautiful carbon in this, uh, this church. I think they can make out the inlay on that part of the ceiling there, above the altar. Moving down a gorgeous stained glass window. Again, some delightful carvings there, leading down to the cross and the altar itself. There's some bits there that have obviously fallen away. Beautiful. And that's a look to the rear of the church, down to the front. Again, that's a beautifully, beautifully crafted uh, ceiling there. Wow. Quite lovely. Some really in-depth carving. So I'm not sure how old this church is. But there's faces everywhere. And so all these outcrops have got an individually carved person, where it be angels. No, I think they're all angels pretty much, they've all got wings. Yeah, they've all got wings. 
What a beautiful, beautiful place. And uh, I say we'll have a look at that stained glass window there at the back end. As I say, when my brother's here at night, you can't really get a, a feel for the church. Beautiful, again, carved font. With angels all around it. And the marble support legs. There's a really old uh, organ there. It's probably disused. And uh, again, it's an old organ, but not as old. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll take a last look down at the the altar stone. And the beautiful sunshine that's coming through that stained glass window. Keep expecting to see some orbs. <laughs> Beautiful. As I say, it is a pleasure to be able to visit these old churches. We just appreciate how historic they are. As I say, it's always nice to see they are being maintained and looked after and repaired as needed. So, what a beautiful entrance way. It's a lovely day, the, uh, the dust is starting to come up. There's that line of dust running down there where the main entrance would have been originally. I won't have too much of a look around the graveyard just in case I disturb someone at Vicarage, but there's a, looks like a new internment up there. Anyway, we'll have a, a walk back out of the churchyard itself. Some beautiful old stones there. It's an unusually constructed church. It's not one I've seen before, not in this particular stone anyway. It's a real, it's got a kind of a pink colour. So I haven't seen one like that with a stone spire. They're normally... The ones I see anyway are wood, or wood shingle clad. It's in such a delightful location as well. Okay, it's getting a little bit overgrown around the perimeter, but you know, it's being looked after. It's, it's built to last anyway. The construction's amazing. It's so nice to see the uh, spring approach and these snowdrops are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It seems strange having to come up through the, the woods to uh, get to see the church itself. But you can get a feel for the, the area it sits in. Again it's a lovely beautiful February morning. It's quite warm in the scheme of things anyway, 8 to 9 degrees. That beautiful look across the fields here. Just miles of fields, farmland, grazing land. Beauties of Kent. So that was a, a brief look. I want to thank you for joining me again today. It's always a, I say, a pleasure to see these, these old churches. And it's something I really enjoy doing. So I want to wish you a pleasant day. I hope you join me again on the next one. Let me have a just a quick look at that while I'm here. That beautiful rectory and the, the ground it sits in.
as I say, thanks for joining me again and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.